Jesus found me. I was down and he picked me up. I was out and he brought me in. I was, I was blind and I could not see, but he opened my eyes that I might see. You got to have your own testimony. Just tell what you see and what you hear. Okay, I got to leave y'all alone. I hear you too long. I'm sorry. But listen, he said, go tell him what you see, what you hear. Then he tell him this. He says, and blessed. Blessed is he who's not offended because of me. Make sure you tell John that. Blessed is he who does not stumble because of me. Blessed is he who does not fall away because of the stuff that he's going through because of me. The Smith version is, blessed is the one that stands even when you don't understand. Okay, 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 okay. y'all ain't getting it. <laughs> he said, you blessed when you stand even when you can't understand. I know your marriage is falling apart, but Jesus said, blessed is the one that stands even when you can't understand. I know your mama died premature. And you wasn't expecting that to happen. But Jesus said, blessed is the one that stands even when they can't understand. He said, I know you've been sick a long time. And you wish that God would bring you out. But Jesus said, blessed is the one that stands even when they can't understand. And I'm talking to somebody in here right now that got a testimony. You don't understand everything that God's doing in your life, but you made up in your mind that you're going to stand even when you can't understand. You're going to wait on the Lord and be of good courage, knowing that he will strengthen your heart. You made up in your mind, come hell or high water. I'm going to hold on to Jesus. I ain't going to give up. I ain't going to throw in the towel. I'm going to stand even when I can't understand. Because if I just keep on standing, sooner or later, he'll bring me out. Now, let me just leave y'all with this little story I told you about that little boy that was in the womb of that woman in Nashville, Tennessee. His name was Jeffrey Amos. Jeffrey Amos was in that womb, and I told you how he was in the dark, and the surgeon had to go in and do surgery on him. But what I failed to tell you was, when the doctor opened up that woman and got ready to do the surgery, when the doctor reached in his hand, they say that the little boy reached out his hand and grabbed the pinky finger of the doctor. The little boy was in a jam. The little boy was in a tight situation. Didn't know how he was going to make it out. But he had sense enough to reach out and hold the hand that was working on him. And all I'm trying to tell somebody is that if you learn how to hold to God's hand, you may be going through some stuff right now. But if you just hold on to his unchanging hand, is there anybody here that made up in your mind that I'm going to hold to God's unchanging hand? I'm going to keep my hand in the Lord's hand. Even though I can't see it, even though my way is hard, I'm going to keep holding to God's unchanging hand. I wish I had one or two more witnesses that don't mind testifying that it's rough sometimes. You've had some doubts in your mind, but you made up in your mind that you're going to hold on to God's unchanging hand. Where your neighbor might need some encouragement. Just tell your neighbor. Grab them one time. Hold their hand like a child of God. And say, neighbor, I don't know what you're going through. But if you just hold to God's unchanging hand, God will bring you out. Is there anybody here that got a testimony? Won't he bring you out? If you just hold on, won't he make a way for you? If you just hold on, and when they ask the question, is God real? Tell your neighbor, I know he's real. I can feel him down in my soul. He walks with me. He talks with me. He tells me that I am alone. He's a 
friend when I get lonely. Eat bread when I get hungry. She loves in real. I wish I had one or two more witnesses that not ashamed. Just tell your neighbor. Say, neighbor, I know he's real. I tried him for myself. He woke me up this morning. Started me on my way. But joy down in my soul. Ain't the Lord all right? Is there anybody here? Know my Jesus. Don't fool me now. If you know that God's all right. If you know that he'll make a way for you. Let me see you wave your hand. If you're not ashamed to let the world know that your God is real. You ought to just stand and testify. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Hello, I'm Pastor Michael V. Smith, the pastor of the South Union Missionary Baptist Church in Southeast Houston. And I hope you're enjoying Out and About with the Pastor on today. We want to take a moment now to invite you out to one of our two worship services, one at 7.30 a.m. and also at 10.45 a.m. And then our Bible studies on Tuesday night beginning at 7 p.m. Come visit us at South Union. We would love to have you here because we are a growing church in a big city with a little bit of country flavor. God bless you and God keep you is our prayer. But, but you're being affected uh -huh. by the sickness because yeah. you're living with a sick brother. Yeah.